Okay, if you are in SP2, that means you are having PXPY. You are including PXPY. So your PZ will become unhybrid, which will be perpendicular to this plane. XY plane ye perpendicular hoga. So take it PZ, which retains its shape. If you are considering your SP2 as PX, PY, then your PZ will be unhybrid. If you are assuming your SP2 as PY, PZ, then your PX will be unhybrid. Plane ke perpendicular hoga, Pratyusha. Krishna, kya ho jayega? Sidewise overlapping. Sidewise overlapping, and this will form fiber. Unhybrid P orbital. Conjugation is presence of alternate double bond. Pratyusha. Conjugation kaise aa gaya yahan This is simply a PP orbital overlap. जो मैंने आपको pi bond का overlap बताया था. It is this only. Just अभी आपको दूर दूर लग रहे हैं, so I have shown it like this. It is exactly this. Understood all of you? All of you understood? SP2, SP2 overlap. So, has this carbon is SP2? This carbon is also SP2? And forming a sigma bond? So I said it is sp2, sp2 overlap. Which all the which all the orbitals are involved in bond formation? Yes, sp2 is. Yes, sp2 is like sp2, s overlap. Okay, so as all of you understood this. C2H2. Ethine. What's ethine? C triple bond CH. Two sigma bonds. SP hybridized two P orbitals unhybrid two pi bonds. SP orbital look like this. Then it is bonded to hydrogen, so it will be like this. Just wait. Do carbon in it. One sp orbital, one sp carbon, 
सेकेंड एस पी कार्बन दिस इज एस पी एस पी ओन वन एस वन एस एस पी एस पी एस पी एस एस पी एस ओवर वन मोर फाइव ऑन यस प्रत्युषा टू फाइव ऑन जा understood all of you <laughs> any problem to anyone in this you can take any one of them because s can form sigma bond with any of the axes but you have to take if you are taking s and px then you have to take x as the internuclear axis so has if you are taking x and py s and py then you have to take v as the internuclear axis if you are taking s and pz you have to take z as the internuclear axis तो कन्वेंशनली हम x को इंटरन्यूक्लियर एक्सिस मानते हैं अगर x इज द इंटरन्यूक्लियर एक्सिस s एंड पी एक्स विल फॉर्म बॉन्ड एंड पी वाई एंड पी जेड विल बी अनहाइब्रिड यस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज योर पी ऑर्बिटल योर इंटरन्यूक्लियर एक्सिस विल चेंज नहीं तो सिग्मा बॉन्ड नहीं बनेगा understood all of you jaise ek aur thoda sa question kare what type of bond will be formed S P X X axis S P Y X axis S P Z Y axis Which bond will be formed? सुहास कौन सा बॉन्ड बनेगा जीरो सॉरी सिग्मा जीरो जीरो वेरी गुड पूजा कोमल दीपिका प्रत्युषा वेरी नाइस ओके सुहास 
So you have to be careful by taking your access. ठीक है मैं जो भी आंसर दे रहा हूं कन्वेंशनल बेसिस पर है Any doubt in this? ठीक है This is your VBT. Let's talk about molecular orbital theory. Let's talk about molecular orbital theory. When atomic orbitals. of nearly same energy combines they generate new orbitals called molecular orbital <coughs> When, when atomic orbitals of nearly same energy combines, they generate new orbitals called molecular orbitals. Atomic orbitals are monocentric molecular orbitals are. नंबर ऑफ atomic orbitals combining is equal to the number of molecular orbitals formed is equal to the number of molecular orbitals formed ओके मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड एज मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड एज मॉर्निंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल एंटी बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल 
bonding molecular orbital anti bonding molecular orbital bonding molecular orbitals are more stable having less energy then anti bonding molecular orbitals bonding molecular orbitals have more electron density between the two nucleus between the nucleus anti bonding molecular orbital have less electron density between the nucleus copy first Okay, we are following LCAO linear combination of atomic orbitals. done all of you done zoom in what do you want to see deepika Done, Deepika. Okay. And atomic orbital can be shown with the help. of wave function because it works like wave side if you have a wave like this and you are adding another wave to it then resultant wave will have more amplitude. So 
साई ए प्लस साई बी इज इक्वल्स टू साई ए प्लस साई बी का होल सॉरी साई ए प्लस साई बी इफ यू टेक वन वेव लाइक दिस and you take another wave but you subtract it another wave but you subtract it then electronegativity will be decreased electronegativity will decrease ho jayegi This will be psi a minus psi b. Copy it first. This is additive overlap. This is subtractive overlap. this will give bonding molecular orbital this will give anti bonding molecular orbital any doubt in this any problem to anyone in this stability order is bonding molecular orbital atomic orbital anti bonding molecular orbital energy order anti bonding molecular orbital bo <coughs> atomic orbital and bonding molecular orbital okay any doubt in this for example if 1s and 1s combines 1s 1s gives sigma bond or pi bond 1s 1s gives sigma bond or pi bond sigma bond so when 1s and 1s combines they will give sigma 1s and sigma anti bonding 1s bonding molecular orbital anti bonding molecular orbital bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital yes the tissue so that's what i said na number of atomic orbitals combining is equal to the number of molecular orbital formed main yahan par 1s and 1s likh deta hu thodi problem ho rahi hai to you may think ki additive overlap i am just saying and 
when one s and one s combines suhas one s and one s combines it will give bonding molecular orbital also it will give anti bonding molecular orbital also ye hai bonding ye hai atomic orbital ye hai anti bonding molecular orbital प्रत्युषा वेन टू एटोमिक ऑर्बिटल्स कंबाइंस वेन टू एटोमिक ऑर्बिटल्स कंबाइंस देयर कैन बी अ पॉजिटिव ओवरलैप देयर कैन बी अ नेगेटिव ओवरलैप वी कंसिडर बोथ ऑफ देम वेन देर इज अ पॉजिटिव ओवरलैप then electron density between the nucleus increases such kind of bond is called sigma bond and when there is a negative overlap they do not want to interact with each other they do not want to interact with each other such kind of orbital is called anti bonding molecular orbital agar main yahan pe one s likh deta hu to it will be like this. Okay, Pratyusha. We are taking both the possibilities. So when two orbitals do not overlap in a particular way, do not want to come closer to each other, you can say that. Okay, Deepika, anti-bonding molecular orbital means excited state. excited state it is just another way of overlapping that will be better to say dipika if you if you toss a coin there can be a head there can be a tail right so it can be a positive overlap it can be a negative overlap this how we can talk about it okay Yes, we are looking both options because we are saying yes, Pratyusha. We are considering both the possibilities because we are saying when two atomic orbitals combine, we will get bonding also. We will get anti-bonding also. Definitely, bonding will be more stable and anti-bonding will be less stable. Okay, you can see here we have a node and here is no node. they may interact with each other they may not interact with each other understood aapne wave ke andar padha hoga in phase out of phase when two waves which are in phase interact with each other then it is called additive overlap when the two waves which are not in phase matlab one is in phase one is out of phase then they give negative overlap waisa kuch ho raha hai yahan par you have read the waves in phase out of phase padha hai waves ke andar ye out of phase hai ise bolenge negative overlap bonded bonding you must say pratyusha bonding has electron density of electron at the center no between the nucleus has more electron density between the nucleus electron density has been increased while their electron density has been decreased ye out of phase hai matlab ye subtractive overlap hai and if matlab wo anti bonding molecular orbital dega ye in phase hai ye additive overlap hai ye bonding dega 
So we take care about both of them. By point. Yes, you can say that. ठीक है अगर इसको फाइव बाई टू आप मानते हो तो दूसरे वाला फाइव से आउट ऑफ फेज हो जाएगा ठीक है लेकिन हमें उतना अंदर नहीं जाना है हमें मेनली इसके ऊपर फोकस करना है और अपने क्वेश्चन देखने अंडरस्टोर्ड अंडरस्टोर्ड ऑल ऑफ यू If we take two s and two s, nothing changed. But size बढ़ जाएगा. थोड़ा सा size increase हो जाएगा. Rest everything will remain same. This is sigma star 2s, sigma 2s. Just one second. Dark gel gaya. Understood both sigma 2s and sigma anti bonding 2s. Okay, so here you can see either there will be a node and there is no node. Now we have two p two p overlap. What type of bonds we can have in two p two p overlap? Two p two p overlap. Me, which bonds can be formed? Two p two p overlap. Me, which bonds can be formed? Sigma and pi. Hey, man. So we will say that. 2p, 2p can give you sigma bond. 2p, 2p can give you pi bond. But when atom atomic orbital combines, we will get anti bonding and bonding. So now let's say this. Let this be pz. Let this be pz. Additive overlap work. We will get something like this: sigma two p z. A subtractive overlap. They do not want to interact. Three node, three nodal region, two nodal region. Any doubt in this?
all of you any doubt in this ye to sigma ho gaya pi bhi ho sakta hai This is pi star two p x. Two nodes, one node. Understood. any doubt in this x2 py let it be x only na define to nahi kiya na let let me say this as the x axis ये तो हमारे हाथ में है ना किसी को भी हम y बोल सकते हैं किसी को भी x बोल सकते हैं कंफ्यूजन हो रहा है तो मैं लिख देता हूं हम अपने हिसाब से किसी को भी x एक्सिस y एक्सिस z बोल सकते हैं जस्ट दे शुड बी परपेंडिकुलर टू इच अदर अंडरस्टूड तो ये सब कुछ थ्रेटिकल डाटा था एप्लीकेशन क्या है इंपॉर्टेंस क्या है इस थ्योरी की वो हम देखते हैं इट्स नॉट लाइक इट्स नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट लेसर इंपॉर्टेंट देन व्हाट वी आर डूइंग अब जो हम कर रहे हैं वो ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है उसके ऊपर क्वेश्चंस 70 परसेंट एटी परसेंट तक आए हैं इसके ऊपर क्वेश्चंस 20 परसेंट चांसेस है क्वेश्चन आते हैं बट ये इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इफ द पैटर्न चेंजेस तो ये क्वेश्चन आएगा अगर उनको थोड़ा सा भी डिफिकल्ट देना होगा तो दे गिव यू दिस थिंग this is not easy <coughs> then that we are doing now theek hai ye wala zyada thoda difficult rehta hai wo wala easy rehta hai abhi tak easy pe hi questions aaye hain applications of mot what applications do we have for mot एमओटी से हमें क्या क्या पता लगता है मैग्नेटिक बिहेवियर बॉन्ड ऑर्डर बॉन्ड लेंथ bond strength
electronic configuration of molecule electronic configuration of molecules electronic configuration of molecules molecular orbital electronic configuration molecular orbital electronic configuration we know that we have sigma 1s sigma anti bonding 1s sigma 2s sigma anti bonding 2s sigma 2pz sigma star 2pz pi 2px pi 2py or pi 2px pi star 2px pi 2py pi star 2py these are the only orbitals that we have isi mein hame arrange karna hai so there is an experimentally determined order experimentally determined order experimentally determined order sigma 1s sigma anti bonding 1s sigma 2s sigma anti bonding 2s sigma 2pz pi 2px equal to pi to py pi star to px equal to pi star to py sigma star to pz copy it fast then so if we have atomic number less than or equal to 14 then this and this exchanges so new configuration we have okay if you take for co co is completely different 
वन टू थ्री रिवर्सेस दे आर ऑर्डर प्रत्युषा इन कैटेड Atomic number is fourteen, not for eight. When did I say eight? So One. I was saying like so. Yes, yes. I know. So that order which you gave, it's not for uh, oxygen from atomic number eight or something. It is for atomic number. See, we are talking about molecules. Okay, mm -hmm. so do not say eight. If you are saying oxygen, it will be sixteen. Oh, okay. This is the okay. Now, yeah. Ah, uh, ये molecule के लिए है ना ये. Okay. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, CO के लिए it will get reversed. Three will become one. Two will remain two. One will become three. Sigma one s, sigma anti bonding one s, sigma two s, pi two p x equal to pi two p y, sigma two p z, sigma star two s, pi two p x equal to pi two p y, star. Sigma star two p z. Write down all the three configurations. then Electrons are filled in the increasing order of energy of subshells. Electrons are filled in the increasing order of the energy of subshells of baru. Electrons are filled. singly for equal energy equal energy of molecular orbitals hons <coughs> rule and molecular a molecular orbital can maximum have two electrons with opposite spin only is principle all the three are applied here <coughs> All the three are applied here. Understood.
understood for the complex compound you are talking about for the coordination compounds you are talking about pratyusha definitely it's applicable but is it is not there in 12th class syllabus jo ligands ke bare mein pata laga tha which ligand is stronger which is weak wo sab mot se hi aaya tha but it is not there in 12th class <laughs> केमिकल बॉन्डिंग की जो सबसे लेटेस्ट थ्योरी है वह एमओटी है जितने भी आंसर है सारे एमओटी के अंदर मैग्नेटिज्म प्रेजेंस ऑफ unpaired electron paramagnetic all electrons paired diamagnetic bond order is half of bonding electrons minus anti bonding electrons this will be bond order bond order is directly proportional to stability <coughs> bond order is directly proportional to strength bond order is inversely proportional to bond length बॉन्ड ऑर्डर से सब कुछ निकल जाएगा ओके एक ट्राई करते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओ टू प्लस ओ टू प्लस में कितने इलेक्ट्रॉन्स है ओ टू प्लस में है सिक्सटीन माइनस वन फिफ्टीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ग्रेटर देन फोर्टीन तो ये हो जाएगा सिग्मा वन एस टू सिग्मा एंटी बॉन्डिंग वन एस टू सिग्मा टू एस टू सिग्मा एंटी बॉन्डिंग टू एस टू सिग्मा टू पी जेड पाई टू पी एक्स इक्वल टू पाई टू पी वाई दो चार छ आठ दस ग्यारह बारह तेरह चौदह फोर्टीन पाई टू पी एक्स इक्वल टू पाई टू पी वाई विथ स्टार 15 is it paramagnetic or diamagnetic para or dia it's paramagnetic it has unpaired electron it's paramagnetic bond order half of nb minus na एन बी कितना है 
bonding 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 and bonding thus bond order is 2.5 understood understood sir i so have a question yes 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 uh, so for this one 1s2 the sigma 1s2 uh, 2s2 and to yes. z how you got, got it as two over there i had to fill electrons into this okay it's it's like wow orbital is like just uh, yeah yes here yeah, just like, like the sigma 1s jaise wo tha na 1s 2s 2p 3s kind of But then how how did that last electron go in the end? The bonding one. Because till here I had fourteen electrons only. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Where should I put my fifteenth electron? Okay, yeah. so then that will go in two p x. But two p y there will be no electrons left then. Yeah, because you don't have only. Oh okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Rebecca, here I meant the number of electrons. I think I should change it. I meant the number of electrons here. Number of electrons in molecule. Number of electrons in molecule pratyusha also had the same doubt so i should change it rest you understood rubeka all of you understood how to fill the electrons You want me to do one more example, or you'll do? Yeah, Rusta, you can't do anything. Okay. Okay. Pratyusha, we cannot do anything about that. Okay. Door is closed. <laughs> हमारा नहीं है पता नहीं किसका है वो तो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एन टू प्लस एन टू प्लस हैज थर्टीन इलेक्ट्रॉन ऐसे नहीं बोलना है कि इवन होगा तो डाय मैगनेटिक हो जाएगा वो नहीं बोलना है बट डेफिनेटली यू कैन से इफ इट एज ऑड नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इट बी पैरा मैगनेटिक less than 14 why not applicable for you i'll give you one example ronald let's do one more question then i'll come to that example okay ronald sigma 1s2 sigma anti bonding 1s2 sigma 2s2 Sigma anti bonding 2s2 pi to px equal to pi to py 
sigma 2p z 2 4 2 4 6 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 electrons bond order nikalo pehle to para magnetic ho gaya bond order will be <coughs> half of the uh, Nine minus four by two. Kitna aa jayega? Bye. Understood. Understood. The boy who want me to repeat one more example. I do not know your name. Understood. Okay. Can you tell me which one is more stable? O2 plus or N2 plus? Last electron in bonding. This is anti bonding. Okay, Ronald, all of you understand. No, it has to be. It has last electron in bonding molecular orbital. That has last electron in anti bonding molecular orbital. So if you remove one electron from it, it will become stable. Okay. If the electron is present in higher energy orbital, it will be unstable. If the electron is present in lower energy orbital, it will be stable. Okay. As bond order is same, that's why I'm saying uh, I'm telling this. Otherwise, there is no use of that. First, we first we rely on the bond order. If bond order is same, we just check this as well. That with what? If we remove the electron, we'll get stabilized. As I go question at that. Among N2 plus and O2 plus, which will get stabilized by removing the electron? You will say N2 plus. Sorry, you will say O2 plus because O2 plus has one electron in anti-bonding molecular orbital. Okay. Jail, you are asking this. If you have a question like from which of the molecules, if you remove electron, it will get stabilized. Then you have to you have to see in which the electron is present in anti-bonding molecular orbital. Because you always have to remove electrons from anti-bonding molecular orbital. Electron present in anti bonding orbital, molecular orbital is always unstable. Understood? So, so, yes. Uh, so, if there was a question like um, for one, it's like given like sigma 1s2, and another one is like sigma 2s2, like that, that's the last electron, it's just fill over there. So, which one will be okay. more um, stable, like you know, if it's both are both are in the bonding uh, orbital? And bond order is having which one is having more bond order? Um, the second one, I think, right? More the number of bond order, more is the stability of molecule. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. But if the electron is present in anti bonding molecular orbital, then you can mm -hmm. choose among them as well. Okay. So in anti bonding, it's okay. always unstable and it's always removed. Yes, it's always unstable. And yeah, if you remove electrons, it's from 
anti bonding yes okay yeah thank you okay so all of us understood how to calculate bond order all of us understood how to calculate bond order yes suhas so we have a small trick also for that ek chote se trick hai uske liye if you want you can apply this trick also at 14 bond order is 3 now if you are moving in any direction kisi direction mein move karoge man lo 15 16 सॉरी 15 16 17 18 13 12 11 10 किसी मूव करते हो तो यू हैव टू डिक्रीज 0.5 ओके सो दिस विल डायरेक्टली गिव यू द बाउंड नोट ओके okay. एक क्वेश्चन ट्राई करते हैं ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड द ट्रिक ट्रिक समझ में नहीं आया तो फायदा क्या हुआ ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड द ट्रिक how to use it you just have to check how many electrons you have if you know how many electrons you have you can apply it like this and you will get the answer arrange the molecules on the basis of their bond length n2 n2 plus o2 2 minus and o2 arrange karo inko bond length bond length done bahut zyada time lag raha hai yaar kya fayda hua trick ka fir you do not have to solve them separately separately sabko solve nahi karna hai nahi to kya fayda hua adric i have asked you to arrange it i think ये कैसे किया तुमने प्रत्युषा हाउ मच बाउंड ऑर्डर यू गॉट फॉर सी प्रत्युषा एंड हाउ इज दैट हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर देयर इन सी How many electrons are there in C? कैसे? I am talking about C. आप मुझे D का आंसर दे रहे हो. This has 16 electron. This has 14 electron. This has 13 electron. This has 18 electron. Have you done this? 
नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स निकल गए नौ बॉन्ड ऑर्डर बॉन्ड ऑर्डर इज फोर्टीन थर्टीन सिक्सटीन एटीन तो बॉन्ड लेंथ विल बी अपोजिट वेरी गुड सुहास प्रत्युषा गॉट इट की माया पूजा अंडरस्टोर्ड कोमल आई डेंट आस्क यू बॉन्ड ऑर्डर आपने मुझे बॉन्ड ऑर्डर का आंसर कर दिया एंड वॉट अबाउट अदर्स फिफ्टी टू स्टूडेंट्स आर देर चार बच्चे आंसर कर रहे हैं क्या मतलब गौरी जैरेड मनहज ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज आंसर दीपिका रुबैका साक्षी सुजल तनवी विलोस्का वर्णन ओके कि माया tell me magnetic behavior of o2 and b2 magnetic behavior batao o2 ka b2 ka tell me magnetic behavior of o2 and b2 Ronal Edric do not guess it please guess nahi karna hai yaar Ronal O2 and B2 ka magnetic behavior That's what I'm saying Edric we do not have to guess it we can only guess for odd numbers not for even numbers manha check it again pratyusha check it again pooja check it again ronal you have not answered till now gauri अब सारी पॉसिबिलिटीज आप चेक कर लोगे तो आंसर मिल ही जाएगा यार आई वॉन्ट यू टू डू इट सब लोगों ने एक एक ऑप्शन दे दिया है प्लीज डू इट रोनल रोनल चला गया क्या रोनल आप के लिए एक क्वेश्चन दिया था आई थिंक यू हैव गोन ओके लेट मी डू इट देन रूथ डाया कैसे यार देखो ओ टू हैज सिक्सटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन सिक्सटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन मीन्स 
सिग्मा वन एस टू सिग्मा एंटी बॉन्डिंग वन एस टू सिग्मा टू एस टू सिग्मा एंटी बॉन्डिंग टू एस टू सिग्मा टू पी जेड पाई टू पी एक्स इक्वल टू पाई टू पी वाई पाई स्टार टू पी एक्स इक्वल टू पाई स्टार टू पी वाई तो साथ में आठ दस बारह सोलह पंद्रह सोल पैरा मैग्नेटिक ओके रोनल इवन पैरा मैग्नेटिक B2, 10 electrons. Sigma 1s2, sigma anti-bonding 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma anti-bonding 2s2. Pi to px equal to pi to py. Two four eight eight nine ten. Even paramagnetic. ओके अस्मिता मनहाज पूजा पूजा अंडरस्टूड एड्रिक तो गैस नहीं करना है आपको उसको रख के देखना है All of you understood. For odd, definitely it will be para. So last electron goes single in the last orbital. Yes, because they were equal energy orbital. <coughs> Asmita, ये equal energy orbitals हैं. And according to Hund's rule, equal energy orbitals के अंदर we have to put electrons one by one. रूल के हिसाब से अमंग एच ई टू वी टू वी टी टू वी टू टू प्लस विच वन डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट विच वन does not exist kaun sa exist nahi karta itna jaldi nahi so if you want i will write all here ab sabko try karo because you do have to give me reason for that On the basis of MOT, you have to give reason. Komal, Navi, Pooja, Deepika, Navasen. आप सबको reason देना पड़ेगा on the basis of MOT. ये नहीं बोल सकते कि नोबल गैस है इसलिए नहीं है. Give me reason on the basis of MOT. Very good, Navasen. Now try for others also. Very good, Navasen. Try for others also. Why B to Navid? Why B E to Navid? बी टू क्यों होगा नवीद शेख
बॉन्ड ऑर्डर इज जीरो फॉर ऑल थ्री नेगेटिव कैसे आया यार <coughs> Pratyusha, how you got negative? Very good, Gauri. Kimaya for all, all three. I'm talking about. Pratyusha, how you got negative? Do not follow that series after ten electrons. I have told you until ten. You have to keep ten in mind. All the three have bond bond order zero. All the three have bond order zero. <laughs> All the three have bond order zero. Any problem to anyone calculating bond order? Okay then. That is it for today. Happy Diwali to all. Okay, that's it for today. Rest we'll do afterwards. Okay. No man. Tomorrow I won't take class. I'm going out of town. Okay.